Worried neighbors live in fear they will be kicked out even if they've done nothing wrong. Residents at Pinecrest Apartments in East Price Hill are on edge after getting an eviction notice. When the notices came, they contacted Rich Jaffe and we launched this local 12 News investigation. Rich? Cammie, many of the 200 residents of the building are elderly or disabled. They, the rent they pay is on a sliding scale depending on their ability to pay. As a Cincinnati Metropolitan Housing Authority property, our tax dollars make up the difference in those apartments. What we saw today is a sad statement on how these people are being forced to live. Eviction letters like this one came out Friday to dozens of tenants in the Pinecrest. The letters say due to non-payment of rent, they have to leave. But the tenants here say they paid their rent, and they've seen these letters before. I cry. I actually cry because I, I pay my rent. I try to be a good citizen. I try to be friends with my neighbors. I, I don't make loud noises late at night. And to be constantly evicted from your residence, how would you feel? John Dowers is hearing impaired. His wife is deaf. They got a letter, too. Does it worry you? Yes, it does. Does it scare you when you see that? Uh, yeah. All the tenants we spoke with had proof they paid the rent just like they always do. They know people in these buildings as uh, senior citizens. They get a um, fixed income. They get their checks either the first or the third. You send your money in. You send it in the minute you get your money in. You go to the bank and get your money or to send it in. Then they send you some stuff like this. So what went through your mind when you, when you opened the mail and saw this? I called my son and I said, I'm pissed. And I've been here 17 years. This building has gone to pot. And there's more. Many residents here say the building is infested with bed bugs. Glenna Lazan lives virtually without furniture and sleeps on a floor mat because the bugs ruin everything she owns. The more they spread, the worse they got. See the corners of my bed? See the corners of my bed? I'm going to have to throw this cot away in the trash. When we first arrived at the building, we were met by Barbara Jeff, the property manager, and she told us... If there's a case where there's someone that's um, made a payment, we're not going to proceed with any type of eviction on them. So you're telling me that it's not a big issue? That's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Well, are they being evicted or not? No, they're not. After talking with the residents, I went back to the office to ask Jeff some more questions and found out she'd gone home sick. To make matters even worse, the residents tell me that whenever they get hit with these erroneous eviction notices, they also get hit with $20 or $25 late fees. Even if they don't get evicted, they still have to pay the fees. And clearly, that's for someone else's mistake. It's just wrong. They deserve better than this. Now, late this afternoon, CMHA administration called me and said they were already looking into this before we did our story. And there was some sort of delay at the post office last week, which resulted in the eviction notices. Anyone who wasn't actually late on those payments will get their late fees rescinded. And a letter to the residents explaining this is supposed to be in the works. And we will let you know when those letters arrive. Cammie? Oh, we know you'll stay on top of it, Rich. Thank you. Many of the residents of Pinecrest also told us that while they used to have activities in the building, things like sewing groups, card games, and even a kitchen, they no longer have any of those things. They generally just spend their days in their rooms.